Hi there, I'm Denya, currently ranked 81st globally in the world on Scoresaber. This video is about the top tips and tricks I can give as a top ranking Beat Saber player, so you can too get onto a higher level such as players like Busy, Old Muffley, and hell, even Serret. Without further ado, the first trick is specifically for Oculus users playing on Steam. The first thing you'd want to do here is head onto Steam and go to your games catalogue, right click on Beat Saber, and then click properties. Once you're there, you should see the launch options from there. From this, type negative VR mode Oculus into the box. This makes the headset use the Oculus runtime, which gives bigger swings for less effort and is practically used by everyone on a top level, unless your name is Wolfia. The next tip is also for Oculus users, and that is to put cardboard between the battery and the controller compartment. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, cardboard, but that's what I prefer since it's the most stable kind of thing you can put in there. I've seen people use paper and also um, that one thing that's like silvery and I can never remember the name of. <laughs> uh, this is done to prevent the battery from drifting, as you may have experienced yourself just flying away, just doing tons of somersaults while it flies out. This is to help if your swings are very aggressive, like just like mine, or if you try to play much faster things where the battery can slip out. This is most common between 250 and 400 BPM, because that's where you're trying to swing as big as possible without losing any accuracy. This next tip is if you have an index or generally play with any grip that's uncomfortable. My tip for this is to either get a pair of bike riding gloves or get some grip tape that you would usually find from tennis rackets. This is not only increasing grip for when you're playing, but it also makes the controller more comfortable with that cushion. For grips, for example, such as ones with claw, it gets very, very unbearable. Um, I say that from personal experience because your hand may bleed just a little bit more than usual and more than usual is normally none. Just before we get into the game, I'll need to let you know that about grips for controllers. Each controller has its different own kind of grip and if you haven't been using one, chances are you are using default. For different grips, each come with their own set of advantages and disadvantages. For example, on Rift S, I use Claw. The positive of Claw that being that it's very easy to swing speed and especially their linear streams, but it is insanely painful. Find a link of all the grips that you'll be needing. I'll be putting the Q Community Discord server in the description below, uh, where you can find a list of their grips as well as also people's different. Uh... <laughs> There's a word here, and I don't know what it is. Now, getting into the game. First module wants our JD Fixer and Counters Plus. JD Fixer allows you to change your jump distance, also known as how close the bot gets before appearing. On some maps, the JD may be better closer, and some further. This is most commonly used as the lower the NGS, the lower the JD. This may not be entirely true because tech maps also do exist, and that depends from case to case. Finding a perfect balance could be critical for maps with poor offsets, such as Melancholia or Villain Virus. Counters Plus is also very critical, as it allows you to see cuts per hand, just so you can see which hand is performing better and which hand is having issues. Say for example, you're doing really badly on your left hand. It's a very easy way to see what's going on while you're playing. A more in-depth way to do this is to install a Beat Saviour mod and sign up using your Discord to see all the stats on how you're getting on each hand. I've also linked this in the description. Now this tip may be for more experienced players, but you can also try Pro Mode. This modifier, especially with the recent dot hitboxes changing in 1.20, makes it much easier to act compared to normal. However, if you are prone to missing, this will not help much, as Pro Mode also changes hitbox sizes, making it much easier to miss a note. From here, I have linked a few websites in the description that will be useful, some including the main mods repository of Beat Saber Modding Group. If you have any kind of suggestions for what I could uh, also add into future videos, these tips and tricks videos, or what, have it, what kind of video it is, feel free to leave them in the description, and I may include them in the next one I make in about 16 years when the game's been dead for about 12. Uh, so enjoy.